Welcome back, this is Yama Jack. We got KF Rig Gunslinger Suicidal. Let's go. I'm watching Tim Minchin lately. And, uh, yo, I, uh, I know exactly where we are and exactly how to get to where I want to be. Check this out. Check this out. Look at my professional navigational skills. It's not because I just tried to record this and kind of accidentally forgot to turn my microphone on and have to redo it and I spawned in the exact same place and I happened to take this route. That's not why I know how to get here from there. I'm not even sure if that's the most efficient way to do it, but that's the only way I know how to get here from there. I'm getting better at this map. I like this map. It's, uh, it's a good map. If I was to, to vote on like a community map to be implemented in the game, it would be this one. Because this, this is a good map. If I, if I had the power to make that happen, I would. So this is a, a very, very well-made map. Anyway, I'm watching Tim Minchin lately. He's a, he's a, he's a songwriter, comedian dude. Kind of like if you ever heard of uh, Bo Burnham. He's uh, probably the more uh, popular, um, like, songwriter, comedian dude. He does, like, uh... Comedy acts and has the um, what should we call it? The, the like songwriting and piano playing and all that kind of stuff to the you know satirical musings, right? Um, Bo Burnham is actually inspired largely by Tim Minchin, who is like not the original like comedic musician, um, but kind of in in the modern day anyway. Uh, but he does uh, a lot of uh, satirical stuff, and it's good fun. And uh, the songs are generally pretty, pretty boppy. So I've been listening to a lot of that. I used to be a big fan of him back in I don't know, 2014 or something, 2013. And I kind of forgot about him because at that point he didn't have too many songs out. So I, I would listen to him, but at a certain point, you've listened to all the songs like a billion times, and like, while they are funny, they're not necessarily great songs from like a, a just strictly speaking song perspective, you know. But um, anyway, they uh, I, I've I've been listening to him a bit lately. I've actually been watching some of his uh, like routines the, the 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 shows i've never actually watched one of his shows before, but he's he's uh, he's good fun he's he's very edgy he's uh he's australian and australian people are are pretty edgy so i'm sorry if you're australian but you know i'm right you know when when you're when you're talking from like an american perspective or canadian or whatever right western in general um Australians tend to be pretty edgy. Um, at least they're they're comics, and uh, yeah. So he he does a lot of like, not just because Bo Burnham, if you if you know him, he does a lot of uh, like not pro religion stuff. Whereas uh, Tim Minchin will do some very anti religion stuff. Um, so there, there is some edge to it. It's, it's mostly in jest and, and good fun, but it's, uh, it's definitely not for everybody. I quite enjoy it, though. And, uh... Yeah, I've been listening to him a lot lately. It was, it was fun to rediscover him. I'm not sure how I rediscovered him, but I did somehow. And it's been, uh, it's been an absolute blast listening to his, uh, to his songs again and watching some of his performances. And I really, I really like piano. I find the uh, the piano to be probably one of my favorite in instruments. I just think that the piano is, uh, it sounds really good, for one. And then watching people play the piano is also just kind of, I don't know, like impressive isn't necessarily the right word, but it's like the the emotion I feel when I watch somebody uh, play the piano is like, uh, or at least somebody play it well is um 
is a cross between like uh, impressive and serene. It's like a, a mix between those two. It's just uh, it's a very nice experience to have uh, to have somebody play the piano who's good at it. It's kind of the the, the main thing. Cause I can go play the piano. I'm not gonna play something good, right? Nobody nobody wants to listen to me play the piano because I don't even know what. Like you tell me to push the the A key, and I'm like, well, is that the the leftmost key? <laughs> I know it isn't. I mean, it might be, but I know that there's like more than just that. <laughs> I'm not I'm not completely uh, inane. No, I'm not completely ignorant, um, but okay, I certainly, I certainly don't know how to play the uh, to play music. So I just, uh, and he's, he's, uh, he's Tim mentioned he's, uh, he's, uh, he's a pian pianist, pianist, with the T at the end, pianist. He, uh, so. I uh, quite like it. I mean, there's there's very few times when I, I don't like listening to somebody play the piano. Well, I, I have to I have to, I feel like I have to make sure I clarify that because um, you have to be good at it, or you're not really fun to listen to. I mean, if you're bad at it and I'm like, and we're like on good terms, then I'll still enjoy listening to you and like watching you improve and stuff. But like, that's not that's not the kind of piano playing that I'm talking about here, right? So anyway, he, uh, he plays the piano, so I like him. <laughs> it's basically the moral of the story. Playing the piano is a good way to, to make me like you. I wish uh, I want to find more people. Not I wish. I was going to say I wish there were more people who played the piano, but like there, there are billions of people, well, you know, millions of uh, people who play the piano. And uh, you know, we don't really need more people playing the piano. It's not a bad thing. If you want to learn how to play the piano? Then go for it. But it's not. It's not. It's not a necessity. I. Uh, I want to find more people who I. Uh, who play good piano music that I enjoy, and not like uh, you got classical music, right? Which is uh, oftentimes a lot of piano and like orchestral stuff, right? And I'm into that. Like some Beethoven or whatever is is. It's fine. Um. But. I also kind of like more modern music that just has pianos in it. I also like the violin. The, 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 the piano and the violin are probably two of the most beautiful instruments in my opinion. But I think I have to I think I have to make a, an effort towards I have not been down this way. I have to make an effort towards finding more people that uh, that play the piano. place is kind of cool. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this thing. Right? Don't I? Do I remember this thing? I think I remember this thing. What's this stuff? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Got all these, like, buttons that I'm pressing, right? I look, look at all those buttons. Whoa. I can press so many buttons. I, uh... I think that the buttons add to the, uh, to the effect of the videos, personally. Some people think that they're annoying to your buttons in the background, but to me, when I hear somebody's buttons, as long as it's not like, I don't know, Cherry Blues or something, like, my buttons are reasonably quiet. Um... It could be, it could be a lot louder. If you don't, if you don't know about keyboards too much, it, it, it could be a lot louder. Um, but like this is, this is the limit of of the loudness that I personally find enjoyable in a video. As long as the the voice, you know, far far outperforms the the clicks, um, then I'm 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 into hearing those clicks because I like hearing how uh, how much like they're pressing in the background, right? Like how many keys and, and buttons and and Things are being pressed in the background, right? It's always, it's always good fun to me. So I like to to have it. I'm gonna have to get rid of it at some point, because just objectively speaking, it's it's generally 
generally a bad idea to be capturing your keyboard sounds. Um, but I need a better microphone for that. One that just doesn't really pick up the keyboard sounds so much. I, I did try RTX voice out for a while, but if you, if you can remember that, it's not so much a good idea for me. For my use case, because uh, it sometimes just picks out my voice as being spam. And Okay, so if this, if this map ever does get put into the game, please... Then uh, we have to we have to make sure that gets fixed. Well, not we, but the people involved in in making it. We'll have to make sure that that gets done. Cause that, that's I don't I don't like seeing Zeds get stuck on stuff. I like having choke points, but when they just get stuck on like right here, not this one necessarily, but the other one should maybe get stuck. That you did not get stuck. I don't like when they get stuck. It's no fun. It's no fun. <laughs> yeah, I love spamming this thing. It's so good. What do we got? A scrake? No, blow. He had a little bloat, a little big bloat, a big little bloat. Yeah, there was this uh, little big planet or something like that on the PS Vita, I think. That looked like a fun game. It's out of nowhere, I know, but literally a fun game. I never got to play it, though. I never had a, a PS Vita. I think that's what it was on. I don't know, man. Looks fun. I think it was on the PS3 as well. I do have a PS3. I could play it. Not gonna. I have to go buy it and spend money and I already have enough stuff to spend money on. Like a bidet. I never used a bidet. I've only heard pleasant things about a bidet. Yeah, I've never I've never talked to somebody who has used a bidet and they've been like, yeah man, I just I prefer not using a bidet and just, you know, doing it the normal manual way, you know? I've never met somebody with that opinion. Never once have I met somebody who felt that way about uh, bidets. I, I, I couldn't follow him. I wish I could have. You have to die. Okay? You guys follow me? You have to get out of here, okay? Oh, hello. My blood looks delicious? Does he eat blood? Is that what he does? I, I didn't know that that was a thing. Oh boy, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot! Oh yeah, we're dead. We're so dead. Perhaps not? Perhaps? Perhaps! Heck yeah! Yeah! Get out of here, bud! Get out of here, bud! You're done, bud! Well, that's gonna do it for today. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like, and subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.